and we've made it to Bergenworth. I don't, uh, I'm going to carry on for a little bit to see if I can clear this area. We know items around here. So you don't want this to happen. <laughs> Frenzied. Closed by device. Okay. Like, not too bad if there's one, because we just run up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that made me jump there. <laughs> Just done us a little bit. Ah, <laughs> oh, I didn't expect two of them there. Um, okay. Just, I'm, I'm just gonna top myself off all the time, just to be prepared when frenzy hits. Um, it's up here. Brain guy. Go around this way. I mean, like, you can see it happening when I was attacking him. And again. <laughs> Just move away. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Uh, okay, and like, uh, what's this one? We know a lot of these now. Uh, arcane like arcane damage reduction plus seven percent. Just not open from the side. Kind of. I need to. I might not be able to clear this area. Of healing potions with the moon. I need to pull some of these guys one at a time, or you know, both. Fuck! Those guys are fast. We're just... Back those mothers. Um... Okay. Okay. And now we've got this. Fuckers. Right. It's a dangerous place to be. Except in a shock. <laughs> um, 
Uh, so for this big guy, there's there's a. I'm pretty sure there's like an easier way to kind of attack it. Maybe let's go for the little head. You can target his little head at the top. Um, and you don't do that much damage to the body. So it looks like that's a weak point. Okay, and there's the, uh, the door, which we're going to enter into for a bit. But I've opened up the shortcut, so I'm going to head back. If we can get any upgrades and get ready for the next <laughs> next pair. I'm just gonna go for strength again. Let's get some some vials. <laughs> I mean, because we've got the uh, the bone cleaver. It's not like a pure strength weapon, it's it's a balanced weapon. Not oh, the saw cleaver, sorry, not the bone cleaver. Um yeah, it's scaling is D D and D from strength, skill and arcane. Um so whenever we raise some of those stats we should get a damage increase from all of those, but it's more you know, it's not all out in strength is gonna give you the damage. Um Yeah, you can put some in skill as well. I came to increase the damage of this weapon. But it's slightly worries if I had like a strength weapon because I've got put all my points into strength. Strength skill, the scaling will be higher, so I'll get more damage from it. I don't really have one to show off. That's not D currently. <laughs> um, but yeah. Maybe after this I might pick up a strength weapon. Okay, so the shortcut is open. That thing's that thing's still there. Okay, <laughs> avoid that. Ear hunter. Uh, so what's down here? We've got a chest. Oh, a lot of slug. Is that another, sp that another spell? Uh, no material used in the uh, Holy Chalice Ridge. Can we actually open this? We can. Okay, this just unlocks the other side. I don't know why you would need that open. Um, there's always something that's really bothered me. Uh, maybe I should like look this up online. Uh, this door. Can this door be opened? Because, I mean... The last playthrough I did, I tried to see if it could be opened or not. Um, you see a few of these doors in the in the lecture halls as well. Oh god, we got company. I don't think we can uh, stagger this guy. Whoa, 
that was a bit of a big hit. Get out of there. Run away. Get some healing. Can we actually? It's a woman. Use tactics. Oh, we can. Oh, it's a bit too late. So we can get the parry off. I tried, I wasted loads more bullets. If anyone um, <clears throat> knows about this this door here and if you can open it and how, uh, please let me know in the comments. So I can come back and do it. Because I don't think you can. I've tried. Don't know how. Let's head upstairs. I think that's the only. I think there's one more surprise in this area. Uh, student's uniform and a note. The spider hides all manner of rituals, certain to reveal nothing. For true enlightenment need not be shared. Okay, so we do have very uh, prominent co-op someone here, Damien of Mensis. Reeks of hunting, therefore you've come to the right place. I don't ever know. Yeah. When the red moon hangs low, the line between man and beast is blurred. And when the great ones descend, a womb will be blessed with child. I still like it's directly. It's right in that corner. This corner. I'm wondering if there's any switches. No. Let's head upstairs. Lunarium Key. Key to the Lenarium facing the lake, Bergamoth 2. Okay. I guess we needed to get that anyway. Oh shit. chest. Uh, empty phantasm shell. I think that one's a spell. Maybe it's to do with up here, that door. Phantasm shell and shell that applies arcane power to a weapon. 
empty invertebrate shell that is said to be a familiar of a great one. The healing church has discovered a great variety of invertebrates or phantasms as they are called. Shells with slime still harbor arcane power and can be rubbed on weapons to imbue them with their strength. Nice. I, just, I reckon this device got so much through that trapdoor. Like, does it open? I mean, where is it? It's all the way over there. Outside. Okay, that's Master Willem. He doesn't say much. Just points. And growing. But he is, uh. Not the same. He's got some of that celestial growth on his back. His eyes are covered. <laughs> oh. We're gonna kill him. Fair eye. Aye. Uh, a cigarette symbol left by Carol for Smith of Bergenworth. Transcription of I as spoken by left behind great ones allows one to make additional discoveries. Uh, eyes symbolize the truth Master Willem saw in his research. Disillusioned by the limits of human intellect, Master Willem looked to beings from higher planes for guidance and sought to align his brain with the eyes in order to elevate his thoughts. So more items from Fallen Act. Ah, that's something I didn't do when I went back. I didn't equip any runes there. Actually, I don't think I can until this next part. Um, so this is the game changer. Special item is effective. <sighs> so once you step into here, once you proceed, there's no going back. Six day, but I think that is all the time I've got left. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pull it here. Um, okay, let's just do one run. Hopefully, we can get this done. Nothing but insects here. So yeah, just a, a very large area. Thank you very much for the follow, buttery residue, much appreciated. Um, okay, let's try and take this out. So the only like the best way I know to do this is probably not the best way at all, but. I guess the, the safest way is to kind of... God, that's loud. Take out them spiders. We need to get around behind them to, uh, to actually do some damage. All of this while avoiding his uh, magic attacks.
Hello, magnificent beard person. Much like the content I've seen. Uh, well, thank you, man. Thank you. I yeah, much appreciate for having you here. Just hope I can actually kill this boss. I can't remember what that there is easy ways to do this where you can like you can buff up and kind of just run in and take take him out Which is, I always get it where like, I don't know, I don't know if it's like in a phase, but um, like whenever I go into attack wrong, and there's loads of spiders up, they'll all like dive on top of me, and just kill me straight away. a lot of spiders. Grunting some of these out. Close. There we go, they're starting to dive. Let's bring them all out. No way. No way. I've got to kind of stress this as well. Like this bit right here. If we go and kill this boss, this is where the game changes. So from this point, anything that's uh, NPC related back in uh, uh, Cathedral Ward or around Yarnum, um, you can't finish off after this point. Um, and there's one like of a massive thing that I've kind of like <laughs> that I haven't uh, got to because I... I couldn't remember how it works, and that's the the runes. As soon as you get the uh, the item for it, the rune at workshop tool, you can use it straight away and put runes on. Uh, and we've got a few good runes as well, so we're just gonna like head back, uh, finish up any NPC quests that we haven't done, equip some runes to make ourselves <laughs> make ourselves a bit stronger. But yeah, I cannot believe I missed this out. Get rid of gear, man. Memorize a cow rune to acquire its eldritch strength. Um, okay, and we picked up loads of runes so far in this <laughs> uh, in this playthrough. Just haven't equipped any. Uh, so we're going to start with the big ones. Heal near death plus one. Or boost max HP during co-op plus two. So we're going to go for the first one. It's probably the only effective one to use. Um, and then for these three slots... Um, it depends on how you're how you're building it. Like the safest ones are probably like the best ones to go for, for just playing the game generally. Um, are going to be the uh, max HP, boost max HP plus ten percent. I'm going to throw that one on there, and uh, boost max stamina plus ten percent. And then the third one's kind of 
go with whatever you want, really. Well, those are like, for like for me, those are the key ones that tempts an extra HP and stamina. Um, I think there's one for stamina regeneration as well. I, th I think. Uh, but yeah, these these visceral attack ones are good as well. Visceral attacks grant quick several bullets plus two, or restores plus two hundred HP. Um, and the other one, like if you're farming, there's some setups for that, so you can get more blood echoes from visceral visceral attacks and just more uh, blood echoes in from killing enemies as well. Uh, Frenzy resist is always like really good. So yeah, let's go with resistance then. I'm gonna go. I'm pretty much just gonna go for frenzy resistance. Um, because. Uh, actually, a bit later on, there's gonna be loads of like frenzy guys, which can take us out. But yeah, look at that frenzy bar though. Look pretty much doubled in size. And do we have any upgrades in the gems? Uh, yep, physical attack of 8.4 percent. Okay, we got fire. We got bolt. Nice. Uh, let's throw some bolt on. Um, yeah, I think everything. I think we can just continue with everything anyway. So let's head on up to uh, back to Bergamworth. Get wrong. So I think we've done everything in this area as well, so we can just carry on. And this wench is dead. Let's go mess this up. I thought I like, went straight into phase 3 then. I thought I was going to do some spells. Um, there it did. But yeah, it's probably not the best way to do this because now we've got like all these spiders to deal with as well. Um, and the spells. Like one HP left on ROM. <laughs> so if you can do it, if you can get a clear path in. Ritual Seeker Broken, Seek the Nightmare Newborn. Okay, yeah, so that was wrong. Like, we did it the really easy way, the cheesy way. That was just buffing up uh, using bolt paper and uh, beast blood pellets and just running in uh, and attacking her, attacking it. When it starts to, like, teleport, you can still get hits in until it finish teleport, finishes teleporting. 
Um, and then the second phase is just going to spawn with some more spiders. Again, just run up, go to the side, attack. The spiders will... Uh, the little spiders will do, like, diving attacks on you and they can kill you. So it can be a bit of RNG as well. Um, and the third phase, Rom's going to start doing spells. So if you're too close, it'll do an, an AoE around him. Or thrash about. And if you're too far away, it'll do those... Uh, those icicles shooting down at you. The homing icicles. Um, so yeah, if you can run and get a few attacks in, then move out. And then when it does its ranged spell, you can kind of sprint back in and kind of avoid them that way. You get some more hits in. Or you can do it the slow way and just take out the spiders each time. Then, then it just gives yourself a bit more rare control over the fight, which takes a bit longer. Um, there's the amygdala that took us to the nightmare. Um, but yeah, we're just on the other side of the cathedral again, where we came before. 